command with glowing hearts we see the rise of the true north strong and free from far and wide oh canada we stand on guard for thee I want to begin by respectfully acknowledging the traditional homelands of many diverse populations of Indigenous peoples who have contributed to 9,000 years of history in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. We also respectfully recognize the diverse histories and cultures of the Beothuk and the Mi'kmaq on the island of Newfoundland, as well as the original people of Labrador, among them being the Inuit of Nunatsiavut and the Nunatukawut and the Innu of Netsisinan and their ancestors. Today, this province is home to diverse populations of indigenous and other peoples, and we continue to work together to develop strong relationships that foster true reconciliation across our vast landscape. Bonjour, Kwe, Pushu, Atidihi. Hello, graduating class of 2020. It's been quite a year. We started out in September with our campuses in full swing, in classroom and experiential learning, on campus activities, hallways filled with the buzzing of ideas and friendship exchanges. All the elements that generate excitement in getting an education that will map out your future. Now fast forward seven months, in comes a pandemic and the hallways quickly fell silent. The classrooms emptied, gatherings and activities halted, and learning took on a whole different dimension. I always imagined I would be doing this in person talking to you, making eye contact, seeing your smiles, hearing your laughter, sharing this moment with you, your friends, your family, and our CNA community. But not today. If someone told me in January we would not be having a live graduation, I would have laughed. We've been forced to accept a very unreal reality, and that is very unfair. We feel ripped off. Why us? Why you? Why me? Why this disruption to the class of 2020 and to our lives? But maybe today is a prime example of making the best of an unusual and challenging situation. Maybe today is about thinking outside the box. Maybe there is no such thing as normal anymore. Maybe this is about change. The COVID-19 pandemic has profoundly influenced the lives of most people on the planet. It has changed our daily activities. Something as simple as going to the grocery store is perceived so very differently now. Most of us don't like change. It doesn't always feel good. It's kind of scary, unknown. Change can make us feel out of control. It can be daunting. But really, maybe it is time we alter course and adopt a different perspective and approach to the unknown. This is a great opportunity for all of you to make wonderful things happen. I'm going to challenge you today. I'm going to challenge you to think big. Think how you are going to make an impact on the changing world we are living in. How are you going to use what you have learned here at CNA to move your communities and your families forward? Despite all the uncertainty, think big and embrace the change 
unleash your creativity, and above all, be courageous. Each of you has this incredible opportunity, the opportunity to make a difference by being creative. Face all this change head on with energy and enthusiasm. Use the tools we have provided you to be creative. Don't quit. Be a strong individual, one who is adaptable, a planner, a visionary, a problem solver, a communicator, and above all, an innovator. These exceptional qualities are all the things that will help you become a valued employee, a leader amongst your peers, and a role model for others who will witness the great things you are about to achieve. Your skills are untapped and all your strengths and expertise will be vital to help lead our economy and our communities as they emerge from this changed world. As you transition from being a student to a graduate, from a graduate to an employee, and from an employee into a life filled with success, be the creator of your future and embrace change. Don't fear it. When you look back on this period a decade from now, you will see how resilient you were and that you needed to be creative and innovative in securing a future for yourselves and for generations to come. College of the North Atlantic and the leadership team recognize the significance of this day. We are so proud of you, proud of your accomplishments and proud at the prospects of what you are about to accomplish. Celebrate your achievement today and recognize your success. You deserve it. Live without regrets, learn from your mistakes, embrace opportunity when it presents itself, and do your best to make a difference. I leave you with these final words from a very famous doctor, and you all know him, Dr. Seuss. It's not about what it is, it's about what it can become. Congratulations to all of you. As Minister of Advanced Education, Skills and Labour, I would wish you a great congratulations today on completing your program at the College of the North Atlantic. By graduating today, you have already proven you have everything it takes to play a key role in building a brighter future for yourself, your family, and our communities. You have accomplished so much already, and even more success awaits. I encourage every graduate here today to use the knowledge and skills that you have received through the College of the North Atlantic to capitalize on the opportunities that exist today and into the future. On behalf of the Provincial Government of Newfoundland and Labrador, congratulations. Hey everyone, welcome to CNA's first year of virtual graduations and a special welcome to all of you who are about to graduate from College of the North Atlantic School of Business and Information Technology. It's amazing how technology has not only changed the way we live and do business, it's now enabling us to carry out special social activities just like this one in light of the global pandemic. As Dean of the School of Business and Information Technology, it makes me extremely proud to see how everyone is adapting to what has become a huge game changer. The COVID-19 pandemic will change the world and the way that businesses operate. Big corporations and small to medium sized businesses are trying to figure out plans to get back in action as the economy begins to reopen. Will things be the same again? I can confidently say a big no to that, but you know what? A game changer doesn't mean it's the end of the story. Instead, it means people like you are needed more than ever to bring their A game to the table. Your skills, talents, ideas, analytical and critical thinking abilities, leadership, confidence, organization, energy, all of these things and more that you've learned at CNA. As alumni, you are now in the great company of College of the North Atlantic graduates who have studied programs sanctioned by national organizations 
such as the Association of Canadian Schools of Business and the Accreditation Council for Business Schools and Programs. We are proud of these distinctions, and we know that your future contributions will only enhance the credibility of what we do. I reflected on some of the many highlights over the past year, and they alone tell me you are ready to meet the challenges ahead. Look at the annual business case competition, where nine teams went head to head to problem solve, collaborate, and communicate solutions for business. And a big shout out to Consult360 from Grand Falls Windsor Campus, who took first place. The Social Enterprise Fair in St. John's saw more than 65 students from 10 teams share their knowledge and skills to advance awareness of nonprofit organizations. Or the fundraiser at Cornerbrook Campus when office administration students took the initiative to raise money for Doorways Mental Health Service. Both are outstanding examples of community engagement. How about the Enactus team from Clarenville, Grand Falls, Windsor, and St. John's campus? They didn't let barriers stemming from the pandemic, such as the cancellation of in-person competitions, travel and gatherings, get in the way of them virtually competing in the 2020 Enactus Canada Regional Exposition for Atlantic Canada. Congrats to all these teams for placing in the various challenges. These are all student-led projects that showcase the many talents and skills that you have learned and have a profound impact on communities. We have realized that people are one of the greatest resources needed to get us through this difficult time. We also see that advances in technology have been instrumental in keeping society connected while still being able to provide products and essential services. But it doesn't stop there. Our students have been involved in several successful applied research projects using their extensive knowledge and innovative techniques to develop some very cool and familiar initiatives. Examples include Garage Kings, product to inventory integration, Jack Axes, development of axe throwing game, Thistle's plumbing scheduling system, classic theaters, online ticket booking and concessions, and temperature. It's the development of an iOS app prototype. What you may not know about that last one is that it has patent potential, so we can't reveal details about this other than to say it's the brainchild of a third year business management student. We wish her all the best in this venture. It shows that hard work and imagination can become reality. What is also important to note about all of these projects is the fact that students, your classmates, have integrated elements of design, creativity, and collaboration to achieve these amazing results. These characteristics will not only be used in your professional capacities, but your personal ones as well. Growth in any way is a great thing. I know this is only the beginning for some of you as you look to the future, you already have a solid foundation that will help you succeed wherever your career path takes you. The demands of industry and business mean that we at CNA must continuously examine our offerings and services to ensure our programs are relevant and meaningful so we can produce more career ready graduates. Today's virtual graduation compilation is a perfect example of how CNA is using its resources, people, and technology to work together and think outside the box to make today possible. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but what I do know is that you are all ready and you have all worked extremely hard to make it to this moment. Your moment. Take everything that you know right now and make it work for you in any opportunity that you encounter. Don't be afraid to take risk or to be a trailblazer. The world is looking for people like you to help them do things a little better, a little bolder, and to make a difference. I believe in you and I ask that you believe in yourself. Good luck, CNA's class of 2020. Stay in touch and most of all, stay safe. Grandmother's wheelhouse, she's one of many. <laughs>
let go and let's go, decisions are made. There's nothing left to contemplate, card laid, card laid. Think beyond the water. Listen 
just as long as we can still do things my way pay attention and you hear me save the world read me carefully and know that i fail but still i'm stronger than the world that's broken by a little loss i'm a ship that finds the heart Lynn Smith, and I have been selected as valedictorian of the School of Business and Information Technology for the graduating class of 2020. Although we cannot be together physically, I am humbled to celebrate this day with classmates, faculty, administration, and family in a new way. In one of the very first classes of my program, an instructor told the class, business is not just a subject you will study. It is a frame of mind and a new way of thinking that will change the way you view the world. Fast forward three years and I find that I'm applying the knowledge I have obtained every day. The ultimate goal has been to learn, grow, and get further ahead in life. Whether you are finishing a one-year program or a three-year program, the person you are graduating as today has changed into somebody more confident and eager to succeed. So what happens when on the verge of achieving this great milestone, the world simultaneously shuts down? company downsizing, hiring freezes, and an increasing unemployment rate. Now, when we are educated, motivated, and ready to start new careers, we are faced with uncertainty. An uncertain economy and an uncertain labor market with nothing but statistical projections and conditional forecasts. As graduates, it is easy to feel robbed of potential opportunities and experiences. But just look at what we have done. Our self-discipline, determination, and drive have been put to the test this last semester. During this global crisis, we persevered using innovation and collaboration to navigate rapid changes. Some of us learning new software and technologies for the very first time. Some of us tackling full course loads at home while taking care of a family. And some of us trying our best to just hold it all together and make it through. And we did it. Mark Twain said that the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day that you find out why. College is a bit more than coursework, essays, and thesis. For many, college is a time of self-discovery, to find your strengths, work on your weaknesses, and discover your place in the world. And while the college journey is different for each of us, what we all have in common is the desire for something better. Students at College of the North Atlantic are fortunate to have endless opportunities that make the college experience so much more. Each graduate has had the privilege to be schooled in an institution that understands the value of out-of-classroom learning. And we are moving forward with not just new knowledge, but also new skills and capabilities. As the Associate Dean of Business, Brenda Lockyer, has said, soft skills are so important, and it is through events like the annual Business Case Competition and the presence of student councils and Enactus chapters on campus that help us develop them. I was an active member of Enactus through my entire program, competed twice in business case, spent a summer working in CNA's summer student grant program, and participated in CNA's open house as a campus tour guide. These experiences helped shape my time at the college in a different way, and I really began to understand what it means to create a positive experience for yourself. 
I firmly believe that making the most of your college experience means getting the most out of your education. Extracurriculars teach us how to build relationships and show us how much we truly need each other to succeed. If we could all agree on one thing to take away from this journey, it would be gratitude for the support and tenaciousness of our classmates. We are graduates because we were in this together. At CNA, you are not lost in the crowd among thousands of students, yet everyone is from different walks of life. This year, our campuses welcomed international students who enlightened and inspired our cultural experiences. It did not take long for the presence of our new students to impact campus life and create a feeling of inclusivity. We have all been united here through education. We have learned to rely on our peers, work together in groups, and motivate each other through stressful times. There have been highs and lows, successes, failures, rewards, and challenges. However, challenges did not come without exceptional academic guidance and support. My time at CNA has been empowering, eye-opening, and truly rewarding. No matter how ambitious my ideas were, I was always provided with the tools, resources, and advice I needed to make them happen. It has been a privilege to be educated in a place where you don't have to dream big, you can do big things. On the outside, it looks like a lot of late nights, hours of studying, and endless cups of coffee. But we know it's a whole lot more than that. On behalf of our school, I'd like to extend sincere accolades to the faculty, administration, and staff at CNA, who are the backbone of our campuses, keeping them safe, accessible, and functioning. To our SDOs for answering every question under the sun, Thank you to our outstanding campus directors for ensuring we have support. And finally, the glue that holds it all together, our instructors. You have gone above and beyond to help shape us as future professionals and ensure we are prepared for this next big step. I also want to remember one instructor who is devastatingly no longer with us. At the end of this semester, our campus, school, and CNA itself lost a very valued faculty member, Andrea Best. A brilliant and knowledgeable economist, Andrea brought wit and expertise to the classroom. She held academic excellence to the highest standard and a sense of humor that everyone appreciated. She will be greatly missed. As we move on from college, we will all pursue different career paths and enter different industries. Maybe you'll start a business or develop a new network, or maybe you'll do something completely different than what you had intended, and that's okay too. The doors we open and close each day decide the lives that we live. And you have achieved this goal. Now go out and grab the next one. As your valedictorian, I am honored to say congratulations to the 2020 Class of Business and Information Technology. Thank you. Oh, come on in my darling, there's no time to waste. I've been dreaming.
graduates, congratulations on your achievements. You are joining tens of thousands of graduates spanning the globe who have started their careers with CNA. CNA graduates have access to services and benefits through our alumni office, including career services and hosting alumni events for your class. Take a few minutes to register with, with us through the graduation webpage. You'll be glad you did. I hope you all enjoy this time with your family and friends. Remember, students for a short time, alumni for a lifetime. When sun rays crown thy pine clad hills and summer spreads her hair, when silvern voices tune thy rill, we love thee, smiling land. We love thee, we love thee, we. Love thee. we Love doth father so we love where once they stood we stand their prayer we raise to heaven above God guard the It's a brand 